Live from Big Cap Studios, my name is Cappy McCaffernick, and this is Capalot News. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, and this is Capalot Studios. Uh, Big Cap News, Big Cap Studios, whatever you want to call it. But like they said, my boy Bruno Sims said it best. When Ronnie types, he might as well just hit caps lock because it's all caps, baby. But anyway, like I said, 2K Daily, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, we're going to try to do this Monday through Friday. I got a lot of videos coming up for you guys this week, and you just want to stay tuned and stay right into it. But let's just get right into the news, man. We just had one really big piece of news today, and uh, we had the first day one patch. Now, everybody knows that this was launch weekend, but lunch weekend was not like a typical lunch weekend. Normally, we get the game, and it's about four days early. But now, everybody got the game, quote unquote, four days early to test it out, be beta testers. And then on Tuesday, which normally is the, is the first big patch where they fix everything, that's when they fixed everything. But today's Monday. And do you know why they pushed that patch out? Because there was a glitch out there, or at least I heard that there was a glitch out there that was letting you stack VC and letting you stack progress. And they didn't like that. Anything that's gonna cost 2K money, they're going to patch it immediately. Now you might be saying, but Jay, I mean, if they do that, then people would just make more accounts and it's more money for them. Yes, but what they want is continued playing of the game. 2K wants us to play the game all year long. So the longer they can stretch it out, the more ads they can feed to you, the more things they can push into the park, and the more revenue they can make from all of their advertisers because they get to boast about their, content, their, their concurrent users online. That's what it's really about. It's about the long game for 2K. Even though they know that people will play the game, regardless of if they have the badges or not, they wanna keep you playing the game the entire year. That's the method behind that madness. That's why if you see anything, a badge glitch, a progress glitch, a VC glitch, anything, all of that stuff, that takes you away from the game, that costs them your time on the game, it costs them money, and they are going to shut it down immediately. Like my boy, Man Man Groundhog say, they must have these people on 24 hours standby on permanent overtime, because as soon as the air, it got into the air, they passed it, but say, hey, it is what it is. So anyway, like we said, there was a day one patch, but it wasn't the patch that everybody was expecting. We wanted one that was gonna fix the progression bars, like they can come in and fix the fact that people are stacking progression, but they can't fix the fact that people can't see their progression with the frozen bars. That's the type of stuff that gets on my nerves. Loading screens, all types of stuff like that. Blue screens, people are still getting blue screens. People still can't even check their VIP cards, you're getting blue screen and all of that. But we can definitely fix that bag glitch. It is what it is, but hey, everything else that they said was in this whole thing. Speed and stamina increase. Um, and we know that that was a tuning update. That wasn't part of the patch. They just threw that into the notes. Uh, multiplayer improvements. They said they fixed crashes, but come on, man. We know people are still crashing out there. Uh, added audio improvements. We didn't care about that. Added UI fixes. We just want the game to function properly. How can you in good conscience put out a game in this type of condition? Just think about it. 10, 20 years ago, when we first started playing games, the game that you got was the game that you got. They didn't have a chance to sell you a half-cocked product and then just continue to fix it along the way. That's why the development cycles were so long. Maybe we need to go back to that. But then again, if I didn't get my yearly iteration of 2K, I'd probably be pissed. So you know, it just is what it is. But uh, they said it addressed stuttering and lag issues and just various minor bug fixes, which means uh, VC glitches, uh, and, and other stuff like that. VC glitch, badge glitch, rep glitch, any of that stuff right there. But you know, it is what it is. Now, on to other news. My boy Swante, hey, he was into it with Mike Wong today. Mike said that there was a slight stamina buff out there today. And Swante says, if you double the stamina, trust me, you'll make the community so happy and be praised as a god amongst humans. People who don't have high stamina barely play your game, I promise. Now, he said, Mike retorted with, well, we got a badge for that, it's called, it's called Handle for Days. I don't know if that's exactly the, is that exactly the truth. I've not played Park yet. I'm still grinding my badges out and stuff like that. I don't know 
if you really need double stamina. I watch a lot of streams and it doesn't seem like those people need a lot of stamina, but at the same time, they're not dribbling much. I'm just seeing people come down, throw the ball behind their back twice, run off the screen and shoot a fader. So, you know, I, I can't really tell you exactly what it is that we would need more stamina for, but hopefully once I get into the game and start playing in the park, I'll be able to see where he's coming from. I'm sure that Quante has played more park than I have. So, hey, we're just gonna go from there. Now on to people who put out videos. This is gonna be another segment and this is just gonna be like a lightning round and we're just gonna get right into it. Batman Grindhard has several videos out including how to fix your jump shot and get more greens without using green machine and how to get three time badge progression as well as how to get all of your shooting badges in like one day. Y'all need to go check that out. His link is down in the description. Brutus him on the sea wicked that me. He has the biggest and the best rep method. So if you wanna get up and rep up fast, he, hey, he's saying 50 to 60,000 my points per game. Go check Brutus Sim out. Duke Dennis! Hey, Duke Dennis don't have any jump shots for us just yet, but guess what? He does have his stretch big bill, his first part game, and he played three on three programs. So, you know, check that out. And last but not least, in the lightning round, we got my boy Chop. He played with the first ever 99, and it ain't no cap in his rap. I actually watched the video. It was the first ever 99. I don't know how he got there. I'm not insinuating anything, but hey, it's the first ever 99, man. He's blowing 99, he's hitting all his shots. He got all his badges, man. The man just grinded out, must have been. But hey, it is what it is. I checked out the video. You should go do the same. All the links are down in the description. And last but not least, L Watch. Now, what you're seeing on your screen right now is my boy Zuli Zuli. Don't get it twisted. He won this game, but on this one, he ran face first into a screen and got knocked on his behind. Let's see that again in super slow motion. Hey, check it out, man. If you got more L's like this, let your boy know. Uh, tweet me. Hit me up on Instagram. Just get it to me any kind of way, man. We want to try to try to boost this up. Tomorrow, we're going to have at least two L's. And then after that, we probably do three to five L's or whatever, man. Bonus time, ladies and gentlemen. That seems to be another glitch that has just come on to the market. This glitch is the negative 750 badge progress glitch. Now, this happens when I'm in practice. I just finished doing a perfect run. Got all three stars. As, as you can see, I have negative 750 up there. If this happens to you, don't worry. What's happening is, for some reason, the game is going to refund you a, an extra drill. Just do the extra drill, and then once you're done, you should be good to go. And that's all I got for you. Make sure y'all tune in daily for daily 2K updates. Maybe not the weekends, because I'm with my family and stuff on the weekends. But other than that, I'm out of here. Until next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello!